for I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. I feel like this verse has been the summary of our journey that has got us here today. God doesn't say there won't be struggles along the way. What he does is promise hope. Though that reality is hard to fathom while walking in the mud, it's so beautiful standing here now. When I first met you, I knew there was something special. You were strong. Not the kind of strong that allowed you to outsquat most of the guys in the gym, but the kind of strong that when you go for something, you bring everything you have, including love. I love your joyful and playful personality. From knowing every word to old school rap songs in the car, to dancing to your favorite Michael Jackson song in the living room 20 times in a row. I love every second of it. Your laugh and smile light up any room no matter the size. And your ability to learn to love people how they need to be loved amazes me. I promise to show you how beautiful you are even when you don't feel that way. I promise to never cast judgment but to accept you with open arms always and to pray for you intentionally. And most importantly, I promise to lead you and our future children to Jesus. To show you a love that can only be described but Jesus. You mean more to me than you'll ever know. And I'm so excited to see what God has in our future. Tanner Christian Baggett, I'll never forget the first moment I met you. The second our eyes met, time seemed to stop. And in that moment is the best way I can describe love at first sight. From the very first date, you gave me butterflies that I thought only existed in fairy tales. When I look at you, I see every detail I have ever prayed for since I was a young girl, and even more than I could have ever asked for. You've been by my side as my boyfriend, my best friend, my fiance, and soon to be my husband. You are honest with me. When I can't remember who I am, you remind me. You love me like Jesus does. You love me better than I love myself. You make me feel like the only girl in the world. You're the other half of my heart, my soulmate, my forever kind of love. You are my favorite voice, my favorite hug. My heart swells for you. I promise to go through storms together with mercy and grace. I promise to listen with an open mind and open heart. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love. I promise to hold you tight when things are good and tighter when things are hard. And most importantly, I promise to love you every day for who you are, who you have been, and who you are going to become. Who presents Haley to be married to Tanner? Wow, Haley, you are simply beautiful. You're always beautiful, but you're a beautiful bride, I'll tell you that. And Tanner, you're not too shabby, buddy. Tanner Haley comes today presenting herself to you. All that she is, all that she ever hoped to become, she gives to you. And what more precious treasure could you possibly find on planet Earth? Agreeing with God's word and understanding the sacredness of this moment, are you, Tanner, prepared to enter into the covenant of marriage with Haley? I am. I, Tanner, take you, Haley. I, Tanner, take you, Haley. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. To, from this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and For health. richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. This is my pledge to you on our wedding day. This is my pledge to you on our wedding day. And Haley Tanner comes today presenting himself to you as a gift. He's willing to do what fewer and fewer men in our society are willing to do, and that is to give themselves in total and complete commitment to a healthy, monogamous marriage relationship with one woman. So agreeing with God's word and understanding that this is a sacred and holy moment, are you, Haley, prepared to enter into the covenant of marriage with Tanner? I am. I, Haley, take you, Tanner. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. 
for better for worse, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, all the days of my life, all the days of my life. This is my pledge to you on our wedding day. This is my pledge to you on our wedding day. So Tanner and Haley, having pledged your faith in and love to each other by the exchanging of vows and rings, acting upon the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Louisiana, and looking to the Lord Jesus Christ for divine sanction, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Tanner, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my good pleasure and distinct honor to introduce to you for the very first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Baggett.